Get inside. Okay, I'm in. Shut the door and lock it. You sure that thing's dead, Dad? Yeah, it's dead. Mr. Scott, do you think we can look for my parents now? No, it's not safe. Those things are still out there, Pedro. Do you think they're okay, Mr. Scott? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, Pedro. Dad, they keep broadcasting the same message over and over. There's no new update. I'm sure the government has a plan. They'll probably send in the military. Dad? Boys, I'm scared. I want you to go hide back in the closet. Ah! Don't come out there until I tell you so. Be careful, Dad. Ah! Thomas, I need to speak to you. Stevens, what the hell are you doing? I need to talk to you. It's really important. Why are you sweating like that? It's all true. What's true? All the conspiracies. Everything I was telling you about. The New World Order, okay, the population on. reduction. What's any of this have to do with that? Can't you see? Uh, this was their plan. Come on. This is it. I'm telling you, Tom. Dad, we're coming out. Yeah, it's okay. Come on out, boys. It's the Great Purge. Okay, Stevens, why don't you just go back to your family and... I was a contractor at Fort Detroit. I was a bioengineer for the Biological and Toxin Weapons Division. You told me you worked at Waste Management. I know, I know. That's my cover. Look, it's been a long day. Tom, listen to me. I know what's happening. I uncovered documentations pointing to a funding group of elitists that wanted a bioweapon that could alter human genetics to produce a shorter lifespan. And? All that is taking place is because of the virus we engineered. You expect me to believe this? Look outside, Tom. That's all the proof you need. What exactly are those things? I don't know. The virus was never supposed to alter the genetics in this way. What virus are you talking about? Virus X. It doesn't matter. Stevens, why don't you sit down? You're sweating profusely. No, no. I have to get back home. Donna and the kids are waiting for me. We're gonna go to the beach. The beach what? Yeah, and I have to stop at the store to get some sunscreen. Stevens, what the hell's wrong with you? It's chaotic out there. I'm hungry too. We'll probably get something to eat. You're not making any sense, Stevens. Anyways, I gotta get going. You're sweating up a storm. Let me get your temperature. <laughs> don't be silly. I'm good. The, the, the kids are waiting for me. It's not safe to go out there. Why don't you stay here for a while? Say hi to Miss Terry for me. What? My wife's been dead for over a year, Stevens. Tell her I wish her well. Oh Anyways, I gotta go. Bye-bye. Weird. I never really liked that guy. Do you think he can make it back to his house? Mm, it looks like they haven't spotted him. He's almost home. Yeah, he just made it inside. Mr. Stevens looked really weird. He was sweating a lot, and his eyes were bloodshot. His hand and body was trembling. Do you think he's infected? I have no idea. Landline and cell phones are still down. And this is the only TV station that works, and they keep broadcasting the same thing over and over. Those things outside, they're not moving. They're just standing in place. What do you think they're doing, Dad? Look! Mr. Stevens' house! All the lights inside, they're just flicking on and off. All right, guys, get away from the window. Come on. Look, I think it's the military coming. It's definitely soldiers. Yahoo, they came to save us. Boys, get down on the floor. Stay down. They're killing all those things, right, Dad? Yeah, they seem to be. My God, it's a bloodbath. It's just bodies laying everywhere. Good, I hope they get them all. Hell yeah! Hey, watch your language. Yes, sir? I'm Sergeant Castro. This zone has been designated as a mandatory quarantine under martial law. We will be performing a body temperature scan on all individuals. I need everyone in this house to step forward for the exam. Timmy? Pedro? Come over here. He's just gonna check your temperature. Just hold still. Yes, sir. You're cleared. You're next. Y yes sir Clear. Sir, step forward. Okay. Fail. What? No, wait, take it again. I don't have a fever. Private, escort this gentleman to no, the back of the no, truck. No, I'm not sick. I don't have a fever. Sir, I Dad. can't leave my son. Come with me. You can't leave. Please, sir, don't take him. Boys, get inside and stay there. Do not come out. Jimmy! Dad! What are we gonna do? I'm really scared. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Jimmy, we're alone. Why'd they take my father? Look, they're blowtorching the dead bodies. And the pets. Look, they're killing the dogs that are alive. Run, run, dog. He's coming to our yard. 
Pedro, open the door. Try to get him inside. I'm going. Come here, boy. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Come here. Got him. Good job, Pedro. He's a big dog. Yeah. What's your name, fella? He doesn't have a name tag. Then let's name him. Max. Yeah. That's your name, Max. Why Max? You know, like the name of the dog in the Mad Max movie. The dog's name wasn't Max. Doesn't matter. It's a good name. A strong Yeah, Max. Okay, yeah, that works. Timmy, wake up. Wake up, Timmy. Timmy, wake up. Wake up, Timmy. <laughs> What's going on? We fell asleep. The dog is growling. What is it, Max? What's going on, boy? I think there's somebody in the basement. Oh, crap. We gotta get out of here. We're going out there? You'd rather stay here, knowing there's something in the basement? It's still dark outside. It's like five in the morning. Pedro, we can't stay here. Why is this happening? <laughs> We gotta go! Ah! Max! Get away from there! Come on! Run! Where'd all the military guys go? There's no one out here! What? They left the military equipment? Help! Anybody help us! Help! Yes! Over here! Come on! It's Mr. Stevens! Come on, Pedro! I'm going! Boys, hurry up! Mr. Stevens! Get inside! Hurry up! Okay! And we made it! Come on, Max. Good boy. Oh, thank God. Are you boys okay? Yeah. Mr. Stevens, one of those things was in the basement. Well, you boys are safe now. Let's go to the kitchen. You boys must be hungry. I'm not hungry, Mr. Stevens. I'm not hungry either. I just want to get home. And whose dog is this? He looks thirsty. Have you given him anything to eat? He was wandering around in the front yard when the military was attacking all those things outside and killing all the dogs and pets with blow torches. Here you go, buddy. You look thirsty. Max. I named him Max. Okay. Here you go, Max. Have some water. Really thirsty, ain't he? Yeah. Hey, do you know where they took my dad? Yeah, the military took Mr. Scott last night. Is that so? Well, the military did come knocking at my door. They took my temperature, but uh, they didn't say anything else except the mandatory quarantine within this zone. They said my dad had a fever and they took him away. I'm sure that's just military operating procedures. You have an idea where they could have taken him? Come on, let's go to the living room. You'll probably be more comfortable there. Let's have a seat. You boys must be exhausted. Mr. Stevens, can I, uh, where's your bathroom? Down the hall, first door on your left. I'll be right back. Mr. Stevens, when you were talking to my dad at the house, you said you knew what was going on. Yeah. Yes, I did. I think I do know what's going on. Okay. Tell me. I was assigned to a team working on a biological weapon. Top secret, designed for germ warfare against our enemies, other countries that are aggressive towards us. It was never supposed to be released or used, much less on our own citizens. I was hired in 1988, and I remember things were a lot different back then. You know, there wasn't so much bureaucracy and all this, you know, mumble-jumble stuff. And, uh, things were much simpler. And I think just, uh, do you want something to drink? No, I'm good. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yes. Yes, so that was a long time ago, and I remember our fellow scientists, we were all happy, and we couldn't be happier to work at this place. And then things just started to get darker, and, uh, what? Hey, Mr. Stevens, I told you I'm not hungry. Right, 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 right. Where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, um, so... Uh, and we I feel so much here, better. And, uh, I don't know. I have no idea what exactly what's going on. I believe... <sighs> I'm so tired. Help! Help! We're downstairs! You heard about the Hello? Guidestones? Help us! Do believe it's a list of what these evolved to Hello? Nobody We're downstairs! Me. Help us! Hey, Timmy! Pedro, what's wrong? Shut that door! Do not go down there! Close that door! 